Yeah, I think so. In my head, it was it was gold medal or I had a bad day. So I'm really happy I came away with it. I can call it a good day, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's also a really strong field and the 23s at the moment. There's a lot of good riders, so I think even a podium would have been amazing. But yeah, I always come with high ambitions, so I'm pretty happy with my gold medal. How did you find the uh, I really enjoyed it. It was I was expecting it to be more muddy after uh, the rain yesterday, but I think the wind dried it up a little bit, and um, yeah, it was really good for me. It had a lot of sections where you needed some power, so it was it was <laughs> basically the course was built for me, I'd say. <coughs> and um, the cyclocross uh, season, you began uh, already in Waterloo. Uh, uh, is it you will uh, ride all the season, or you have? Uh, um, I'll ride the whole season, but I'll go on training camps in the middle of it. So, um, yeah, I miss Val de Solo World Cup, I think, and then I go on training camp and, and come back for the Christmas period. But yeah, I go all the way until Worlds, and then I see what happens after that. And the, the, work, the Espoir, the Espoir World Cup, is it? In, uh, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it started out well in, in Waterloo, and then Mass Metal and Mass Weekend, I had some bad luck. So, yeah, I lost the jersey there, but I'm, I'm still eager really to fight for it for the whole season and see what happens. Uh, yeah, for sure, I can still improve. That's, that's always possible. So, we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks after I go on training camp and see, uh, yeah, over the Christmas period, what happens. In, in those races. And is it a pity not to have the right to, to wear the jersey the, in this category? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful jersey and I wish I could race it in more races. So, yeah, it's a shame, but it's still something that I can train in and I can do recon in. So, it, I'm, I'm really happy to have it. Thank you. Thank you. It seems like you're a little bit uh, between categories. Uh, do you feel it that way and is it difficult? Um, yes and no, I mean, I'm, I'm doing well in the under 23s and I'm happy with that and I'm also doing well in the elite races, so for the World Cups it's, it's really good because the girls that I'm racing with are, are always pushing me and I'm gaining a lot of experience and yeah, technical skill and power as well also from, from racing with everyone, so yeah. What do you need basically to be just a little bit closer to the, the you feel it in the World Cup maybe, you know, what do you need? To, to be Age, I need to be, I've, I've been racing for a little bit longer, yeah. you know, I'm still 19, so uh, yeah, I've got a little bit um, of time before I, I can be up there, hopefully winning against Femme and, and Puff and everyone like that, so that's the goal, but maybe give me another season and we'll see where I am.